third party in season 7 is something else. This is a monster that I cannot control. Hello fellow shadow hunters and welcome back to a brand new Apex Legends video. In this video we're going to talk about Apex Legends season 7 third party problem. I will also give you three tips on how to deal with third party as this season it is one of the major issues for me. If you're new here make sure to like and subscribe as we post amazing Apex Legends videos. Third partying a situation where two squads are fighting each other and another squad decides to join in is very common in Apex Legends season 7 due to a couple of factors. The map have very particular point of interest where a lot of people are landing and fighting. It's not an amazingly giant map especially once you master the movement. This is not necessarily a bad thing but a factor nonetheless that affect third partying. Season 7 map contains dozens of little choke points. Choke points are enclosed spaces and corridors that need to be passed through to get to point A to point B. These are designed to funnel players into confined spaces forcing fights to happen more often. Again not a bad thing and is where respawn flexes their mapping talent the most. Another big problem is the gunfire. It can literally be heard halfway across this map. It is not uncommon for my squad to hear gunfire, think it's coming from maybe 100 to 200 meters away, just to realize fight is going far far away but we're still able to third party in time. In season 7, most and half of the fights that I engage in end up being third party. Now getting to a point where I'm almost scared to start a fight because I know if I don't finish off the fight and be ready for the third party, I'm gonna get lasered. At the moment, I'm being third partied 80% of the time. And if I decide to third party myself, most of the times fourth and even fifth party will join in like if like it's some kind of a birthday party. Now I have got loads of kills in the match. I got 8, 10, 14 kills in a match but winning those matches is getting really really hard because the third party will come and finish me off, get 3 kills maximum and win the game. I have played Apex Legends from day 1. Third party in season 7 is something else. This is a monster that I cannot control. Now if you're like me make sure to like this video and comment below how you are finding this third partying in Apex Legends season 7. If you're being third partied in games make sure to comment below, like the video and let me know the percentage of fights that you are being third partied. Now we have addressed the problem, the third party monster problem that is in season 7. Here are my three top tips how you can try to handle this third party monster and fiasco. Tip number one, finish off a fight as soon as possible. Now when you're in a fight, try to finish off the enemy squad as soon as possible. You want to kill the enemy squad within 45 seconds to a minute. Keep it under a minute. If the fight goes on for too long, someone is going to hear it, they're going to become running towards you and they might take 20 to 30 seconds to get to the fight and by the time they get there, you will have no shields, you might have 10 to 50 HP and they will kill you in an instant. So first tip, try to finish off the fights quickly. If you practice to finish off the fight quickly and if you feel like the fight is going on forever, it will be a good time to rotate and leave that fight as someone else is going to come and finish them off. So tip number one, finish fights fast. Tip number two, now, this might be one of the best known tip but I'm going to say it again. Loot as less as you can. If you finish a squad, go and loot a shield. Pick up their shield, it's a full sheet, that should be the first thing that you should be looting. After that, be alert for the third party. If a third party does come on you guys, at least you have full shield to defend yourself. If you're still not being third partied, maybe you should try of thinking getting some ammo and then move on. You should definitely loot your kills, don't spend a lot of time there because there's a monster luring around in season 7 and its name is third party. So tip number two, Loot the important things and be alert for third party. Get the shield, get the ammo and get going. 
Now tip number three, so you need to maintain height. So basically this tip is all about getting a positional advantage and keeping it. A good example will be so if you just kill a squad and you know a third party might be coming or you're in a high point. If you're on the high ground, say you're on a building, there's so many houses, there's so many buildings in this map. So if you're on a high ground, for example, you're in a plaza, you're a bonsai plaza, you're on top of a house, you're on top of a building, you already have an advantage on that third party. You're on a high ground. You can defend the high ground. They can't take the high ground off you unless they have a pathfinder that can zip up or somebody grapples on you or whatever. But still, you will see them coming and you will be defending your high ground, having more advantage of killing them instead of they killing you. Because it's very hard for a whole team to get up on the high ground together on you. So you will have a better chance of winning that third party ambush. This is the one tip that is currently working for me. That's all there is guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe as we post amazing Apex Legends videos.